developing now. Anti-Semitic attacks are rattling the Jewish community in Brooklyn. Men chased and punched Jewish, Jewish teens on the street. And in another case, they circled people while yelling anti-Semitic slurs at them, sending the victims running into a nearby synagogue for safety in Borough Park yesterday. The attacks happening during the Sabbath, the holiest day of the week for Jewish people. And they come just a day after a Jewish man was beaten in Times Square by people taking part in a pro-Palestinian protest. News 4's Adam Harding is live in Borough Park with the new information on these attacks. And Adam, police believe the same group is responsible for multiple attacks here. That's right, Gilma. And tonight, both cases are being investigated as possible hate crimes. Tonight, the NYPD saying they will step up their patrols to make sure that this community feels safe in the wake of recent attacks. New surveillance video released late tonight of one of the attacks in Brooklyn. Investigators say three men who were driving in a blue Toyota began yelling anti-Jewish statements at a small group outside of a synagogue. They actually tried to enter the synagogue, and when this door was locked on them, out of frustration, they walked over to a vehicle parked right in front and broke the mirror of the vehicle. Police believe this same group is behind another attack along Ocean Parkway. Investigators say two teens were told to repeat anti-Semitic statements. When they refused, they were punched in their heads. Justice will be served. Assemblyman Simka Eichenstein calling the rise in violence a crisis. Never did I believe that in my lifetime I will hear people telling me um, I'm afraid to walk the streets of Borough Park, Brooklyn, uh, let alone at night during the day. It comes amid a ceasefire between Israel and Palestine overseas. But in New York, tensions have been escalating for days, with demonstrations getting heated and turning physical. Anti-Semitism has to be stopped immediately. Tonight, leaders in the Jewish community meeting with the police chief and mayor. This community is on edge. You will see a larger presence of police officers in our communities of concern. Our police officers will be driving around with turret lights on to make sure there is a deterrent, as well as to make sure that nobody chooses to commit any type of crime during these days of worship for the Jewish community. We will not tolerate hate crimes. We will find the perpetrators. We will stop them. This is going to be a very aggressive action today, tonight, in the days ahead until we are certain this is done. So, Gilma, the two teens who were attacked, one was 18, the other 17. One of them was put in a chokehold, we're told by investigators, right here along Ocean Parkway. There was apparently some Uber driver that may have intervened and helped those two teens get to safety. They ended up running to the nearby police precinct. Uh, Uber has no idea right now who that driver is, while police continue tonight to search for any suspects. We're live in Brooklyn. I'm Adam Harding, News 4, New York.